Hello, everyone. It's Cheryl Wilson. I'm back at KIPCOR. And so I'm on time, everybody. It is 1145. So I wanted to take a moment and tour you around our training room. This is where all the magic happens. Whenever people come here for classes or for trainings, this is the room that they come into. So look around, it's a big open space, vaulted ceilings, beautiful windows, and we have things laid out as if we were conducting a training. And if you'll notice, we have um, pipe cleaners because we know that for some people, they need things to hold and to play with um, that are quiet, but they may need to occupy their hands. Um, sometimes when we're doing trainings, we put flip chart paper on the wall to remind people of different concepts we're talking about. So this one is talking about conflict and uh, the intensity levels that happen when we are in situations involving low low level conflict or high conflict and what happens to us as the conflict intensifies. So that's our chart for that. And then back here, sometimes we do um, circle process. For those of you who are restorative justice folks, um, this is a circle back here. It's a very... Um, empty circle. Um, I don't have talking pieces and all that out, but you get the general idea. So then um, otherwise we um, have other charts over here. We have a lot of wall space for people to be able to post things. Um, we have a lot of, we do a lot of group work so groups can gather around different ideas that we're expressing um, with our charts. Just wanted to point out a beautiful plant. It's been here forever. It's just growing and growing. And then we also, we have another plant back here, but we also have some art. Um, so this may just look like a piece of driftwood, but it's actually an art installation as you can tell. So we um, pride ourselves in just um, having the most unique things. If you go to our website and look at our pictures for the staff, all of us have a photograph next to the driftwood. So I thought you'd be interested in that. So then if you come this way, we also I want to share some details with you about some of the artwork that has been permanently installed here. So this is Edmund G. Kaufman, and um, the quote from Proverbs 25:18, where there is no vision, people perish. So there you are for that. And then over here, we have a clipping that we framed of the original, um, well, not the original, but the group who um, renovated this space, because this was a regular home that E.G. Kaufman lived in, who was a former Bethel College uh, president, he donated this home, and we renovated this home 30-some, um, well, 20-some years ago. Um, let's see, that date on here is, uh, let's see if I can get a date, 2003, almost 20 years ago, um, This that renovation was done. And then um, there's some other photographs um, that just show the renovation here. And then um, behind the door, but not to be missed, is a beautiful wood carving of the word peace. So we have all kinds of neat things. So I'm gonna go back down the hall. I'm gonna ignore Dan, he's in there, but he's working. Um, we'll talk to Dan later. Hey Dan, oh, he's on the phone. Um, 
But I wanted to go back here because I think when I showed you this earlier, it might have been backwards because I had my phone um, on in, a, in the wrong direction. But anyway, just to show you that prison arts symposium um, uh, poster again. But so, um, and then the other thing I think is very spectacularly cool is that we have a full service kitchen here at Kipcor. So if you look around, and of course we're safety people, we have a fire extinguisher. Um, we want for nothing in terms of the ways that this kitchen functions. We can cook up the most amazing meals we have fabulous volunteers who bring in food. We warm it up here, but sometimes we actually cook things here. Um, when we do our trainings, one of the things that people constantly give us feedback on is how much they enjoy the home cooked meals that our volunteers serve. So I'm going to show you something extremely cool. So in order to do this, because I'm holding the phone in one hand, I'm going to have to do some acrobatics. So this is a service door, right? So um, I'm going to set my phone so that I don't um, harm myself. Um, well, here, let's do it this way. So if I crank this, and I know, I know you're kind of moving all around here, but I want you to see that this service door raises up into our training room. So, I know this is bad, but just so you can see, this is what, this is what happens when we raise the service door. It opens right up into the training room. Isn't that cool? So then when it's time, for a meal, people can come to this area and food is served. How about that? While I'm sitting up here showing you the fabulousness of our kitchen, we have a guest. Why don't you stay right there, Christine? Okay. And you know what? I probably neglected to tell you that your friend and colleague, I'm gonna walk through this door, everybody. We got doors, we got, all right, so, and then I forgot, we've got these cool posters on the wall here in the training room, where it just shows different types of posters that say why mediation is the solution. See, we just, we, we're always thinking about the real estate we have and using it to the nth degree. <laughs> So here is a fabulous, amazing professor at Bethel College. This is Professor Christine Cross Dick, and she is one of our beloved people on campus, not just by me, but by many. So you met John McKay Bianchi this morning, right? So Christine and John are thick as thieves. <laughs> So I had asked Christine to meet me on the, on the porch swing, and she was probably out there like, what the heck? I'm sitting out here, and I forgot, Christine. I actually had John sit on the uh, porch I swing. No longer get the porch swing. But if you want, we can end on the porch let's, swing. Let's do it. Whatever works. So anyway, Christine, just been walking around telling people about how cool this training room is and I told people a little about the history of when it was renovated and all of that and how this house came to be part of um, the landscape and how we ended up at Kipcor owning this space. So Christine, I am sure that you probably have a story or two that you can share. And if you'd like, we can have a little sit down. Yeah, sure. And if we want to social distance, you I can just continue. Why don't you just take a seat wherever you'd like? Uh -huh. And that way you're not just kind of feeling all, you know. Um. All right, so Christine, share your Kip Core story. Why is Kip Core so special to you? Each 
show. So like Mennonite, Anabaptist background is not my history. And I, um, uh, in my late time as a college student, I started to learn a lot about Anabaptist history. And when I found out about Sixth Corps and about how I felt like uh, so the mission of Sixth Corps was leaning in mm. to the Anabaptist call of peace and non-resistance, it just got me excited and I was, was thrilled when I was brought on to Bethel as a faculty member and knew that I got to, to move around this Sixth Corps um, thing that was a part of that. But what I really have appreciated as a faculty member for these now almost 20 years, Mm -hmm. been here about that. has been what it has been to me as a professor, Sixth Corps, this building, this space has held so many trainings for me to learn more about myself, about how to support my students, about how to support my, my peers and colleagues here at this institution. Also though, Sixth Corps itself has been a place where I have been able to point students and colleagues as a place to go when things just aren't mm, out. Thank uh, in you. In relationships or in living situations or in whatever's happening, be it in the classroom, mm -hmm. be it in, in the, the living situation. So over the years, I have reached out numerous times with students and sometimes just suggested it. And that has, has really led to an understanding that there is something that is just very rich here. Um, for not just resolving issues, but transforming issues. And wow. Transforming and beyond that, um, especially over the past couple of years, I got to, um, one summer in 2013, attend the Crop Institute Faculty mm, mm -hmm. um, Series that, that occurred. And I got to meet, at that time and at that session, John Paul Lederach, who is a wow. graduate, who is an international, it, it was well known, he's an emeritus professor at Notre Dame from the Crop Peace Institute, and is well known, as you know, and mm -hmm. I you know more about John Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and if there are any John Paul Lederites out there, we want you to shout him out, let him know that we Bethel is calling his name, his yeah. alma mater. So thank you for that. Absolutely. Yeah. I, what, what, what really happened for me at that session during that summer was um, a recognition that I could at very macro and micro levels try to build in conflict resolution awareness as well as strategies within my courses. And so I've attempted to do that and have reached out numerous times to folks at the court to ask for help with that. And now I get to serve on the advisory. That's right. That's right. Christine is on our advisory council, and she is one of the Bethel faculty that uh, sits on our council, and we very much appreciate the relationship that we have as part of, so some of, some of us teach for Bethel, and actually um, some of us, um, uh, one of us holds a position that is part-time faculty at Bethel. So we, we feel very collegial um, in our in our ways of interacting with all of the Bethel faculty and and especially people in your department because we do a lot of things that are very closely related um, so that's that's really important and I think it's vital that we stay linked yeah. Yeah. So I keep thinking to this time last year last summer I advisors through an understanding of what uh, it means to be in circle and I don't know if you've talked with with them about that about what circle is but um, a means of establishing relationships mm -hmm. and working through relationships that could have some tension well, Christine, I set up a circle in the back of the room and I walked people through to mm -hmm. show that um, that is sometimes what we do here at Kip Core and obviously um, we do this a lot in community as well. It's important to us to promote the values of restorative justice, which um, if you are, in, if anyone is interested in thinking about things in a way that is more holistic in the ways that conflict is managed, 
where all people, all stakeholders are taken into consideration. That includes the people who are harmed, the people who har have caused harm, and the people who are the um, uh, community members of that uh, conflict. So anyway, with that, that's a lot of the work that we do. So thank you for bringing that up. So when people um, are involved in conflict, or it, it could be anyone, we serve, it could be the students at Bethel, or it could be large entities. We've worked uh, with, with um, people in community who are trying to um, handle things relationally in their communities, and that might be entities like uh, we've worked with um, we've worked with groups as large as um, uh, institutions of higher learning. We've worked with K through 12 schools. We've worked in community-based organizations. All of it is on the table for us because our the, the processes that we uh, employ pretty much um, there's there's a process that can be used for everything. So with that, um, Christine, um, I'm so grateful that you took some time out of your busy day to be with us, to talk with us about your connection to KIPCOR. And it's so great when people come by and share why KIPCOR is special to them. And certainly, Christine, um, we consider you to be a treasure um, of ours at Bethel campus. So at this time, I think it's time, Christine. I think we need to show what our latest total is. Do you oh, think? Let's do it. Okay. All right. Well, Christine, would you like to do the honors of sharing that big number that we're so looking this at? This is the number that we're at right now. All right, and folks. We are at $2,533.87. Don't forget that 87 cents. Mm -hmm. So we are about a quarter of the way to our goal of $10,000. Right. So we've got some work to do, folks, but that is okay. I believe in you all. I believe that as we go through this day, you're going to see more and more why it's important um, to support our programming, to support um, the work that's being done here, and knowing that we have a really large outreach. So at this time, I'm going to sign off, and I will see you for my last spot of the day, which will be at 1.45 p.m. Central Time. And we're going to say goodbye to our Bye. friend Christine. Thanks so much. See ya. Bye, Christine. Bye -bye. And I will see you all later, 145, okay? Come back and see me.